I'm Elisa Kempton, and this is my testimony. Friday, March 4, 2016, was my last day of school before spring break. I was a senior at Troy University in Alabama, heading home to Florida. I left later than intended, despite a still, small voice telling me to rest and leave in the morning. I didn't know God's voice yet. I drove for an hour before my car left the road, hitting a concrete culvert and flipping three times. I wasn't wearing a seatbelt and was ejected 70 feet from my vehicle. I was life flighted to Southeast Alabama Medical Center, where Dr. Jonathan McNeil performed emergency surgery to remove two blood clots from my brain. I had over 250 staples, a breathing tube, and a tube in my head. While in a coma, my mom held my hand and sang our French song that she would sing to me as a child, which I saw during an out-of-body experience. When I woke up, I started asking about my dog, Bentley, who had been missing. Mr. Brown, who found me after the accident, visited and shared that he believed he survived a near-death experience to save me. After the accident, my dog Bentley was nowhere to be found. My family searched tirelessly, but he was scared and would run away when approached. Mr. Brown, the kind stranger who had found me after the crash, took it upon himself to help find Bentley. He used my scent to lure Bentley into a live trap, and after days of searching, we were finally reunited. I was overjoyed to see my furry companion again, and it was a much needed bright spot in my long and difficult recovery. I went to Brooks Rehabilitation, where I had a full day of rehab every day. I saw a massive, shadowy figure who introduced himself as Adam, my guardian angel. I graduated from Brooks after six days, attributing my recovery to God's strength and power. Dr. McNeil said, there's no denying there's something different about Eliza Kempton, that something is God. I didn't know God before the accident, but coming to Christ was an accumulation of events, including my accident, out-of-body experience, and meeting Adam. I gave my life to Jesus and was baptized a year later, 